Hey, what's going on guys? So let's hit the upper body real quick. We're gonna focus on our T-spine, okay? Um, we're gonna get a little bit of low back as well. And then we're also gonna get our pecs and our lats, okay? So the biggest regions of our upper body that we can target with a foam roller. Now, let's start with the T-spine, like I mentioned. This is literally one of my favorites because I do this even when I'm at work, I have a foam roller at my desk. I'm gonna start mid-back, okay? I'm gonna cross my hands, hug myself. And I'm gonna just roll that foam roller all the way up to the top of my shoulder blades, adjusting my feet as I go. I want you guys to try and get your elbows as close together so you can get those shoulder blades as spread apart as possible, okay? Now, if you find a spot of tension, stay on it and breathe. You're gonna do this for about one minute and then I want you to put your hands overhead, okay? This overhead position puts my shoulder blades into a different position, giving me access to different muscles. Once again, oh, found some knots. I'm gonna stay on them, okay? Now, I wanna transition. I would do that for about another one to two minutes. I'm gonna transition into my lats. So for my lats, okay, that big, it's like the wing, okay, your wings back here. I want you to focus on getting right below your armpit to start, okay? Your hands up top. I want you to find that meat, okay? Some of you guys don't have uh, as big of lats as me, maybe, maybe yours are bigger. Either way, find that meat in there and roll just about to the mid part of your armpit, changing the position of your upper body, right? I can be all the way back, rotated. I can be all the way forward, okay? So that's your lat. You'll do about one to two minutes on each arm, okay? Now for my pecs, okay? You guys are gonna lay flat. Okay, I'm gonna do my left one here so you can see it. Flat into that foam roller, reach your hand out so you can stretch the pec out as you roll over the front side of your shoulder. Okay, now for some of you, it's gonna be a little bit challenging to get tension, just like with your hamstrings, into that foam roller. If that's the case and you're not getting a lot out of this, get a tennis ball. Like I said, you can use different implements for self myofascial release. I have these little balls, okay, they, they're, they're similar to tennis balls, and I can simply do the same thing, dig that tennis ball into my pec, and roll and just find different spots of tension in my, in my pec. So you guys just understand the philosophy here with self myofascial release. We're simply trying to spend one to two minutes on each muscle, finding spots of tension and releasing those te that tension into the ball through breath, right? So find a spot of tension, breathe into it, okay? Now with those pecs, guys, like I said, you're focusing on hitting a pretty large region, right? I have my clav clavicular attachments on my pec, and I have my sternal attachments, and they all come over here, okay, and insert into the front side of my humerus. So I can hit over here, I can hit right at the front of the shoulder, I can hit to the inside of the front of the shoulder, up across my clavicle, down across my sternum, and all the way up and around, okay? Make sure that you're finding those spots of tension and releasing it into the foam roller or whatever implement you choose to use.